Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. And today we're playing with the Circle of Doom as usual because that's our favourite we our favourite um, game mode. And I think, I'm not 100% certain on this one, but I think we've got the um, the location set, the, the sorry, the circle tracking Fuck. set to use um, the rubber band method at the moment. Which is where it sort of Sit. follows the... Um, follows me around. The centre of the circle is attached to me by in a sort of a rubber band. And the circle has a certain amount of momentum, so if I change direction, suddenly go in a different direction, it'll fly past and ping off in a different direction. So, I've got out of my um, supercar, my, the Baltic I spawn in with. Now I need to wait 30 seconds for it to tell me where the first checkpoint is. And it's not that one. We've established that. Because due to technical reasons, we have a false first checkpoint. There it goes. So now we should have a second one here and it'll tell me about the second one any moment now. I'm going to follow Mike down this road because that seems like a good idea. I'd like to know where I'm going next please because this certainly isn't a supercar I'm in at the moment. Airport spaghetti. Oh, okay. I'm quite close to this one. That's handy. And since Mike is also close, then I don't need to feel, need to feel too bad about heading straight over there. Right. Hopefully, this is a sufficiently odd, uh, a sufficiently un unlikely vehicle for me to be using. Don't think. Oh dear. I don't want to be here. Ah. Ow. Why are they bullying me already? I don't want to be attacked. Let's try and let's let's find out what this vehicle is like for purposes of escaping. Have I finally got a car that can out shove the Windsor? I think I might have. Excellent. I might have to use these more often if they can barge the Windsor around like that. <laughs> I approve of this car with all the momentum. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I'm probably going to really struggle to outrun them, but it's nice to be able to push them around a bit. It makes a change. <laughs> normally the normally we have ooh, oof. Ah. <laughs> what? Thank you. Right. Um, I see two purple and one green lights behind me. Uh, let's try and turn. Yes. Okay. So this car is good at defending itself against the hunters trying to bully it. But it's not particularly. Ooh, there's a wall there. But it's not particularly great at just, you know, getting away from them when we, when I, um, when I try to run. Oh, they've got tangled up in each other. Though. That's a good sign for me. So if I turn down here and then, ooh, maybe we we'll go in here. This is going to help. Down this alleyway. Out here. Ooh. Get it caught on here. Ah, get uncaught. Gonna say. <laughs> okay, I think I've got away actually, which is convenient because the car's got a bit mashed up, and um, it's, it's probably about time I changed it. Although I have to say, I did enjoy how resilient and how how powerful this car was. That was actually good fun. I might have to. I might actually have to use these more often, even though they look pretty terrible. I do think I should change vehicles though. Actually, no, better idea. So I was thinking, I'm pretty sure airport spaghetti can be taken from sort of underneath. So if I go around here, somewhere, come on, I want to go off-road. There must be a way to go off-road around here somewhere. But what if I get loop down here? Okay, so I can get down onto this, what we're going, what I'm gonna call a low way, because it's like a highway, but further down. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to try and Oh, I need to get off it somewhere. Is there a way off here? Yes, there's a convenient ramp there. Okay, let's use that. Slowest jump ever. But that's got me down here. Right. Okay, so from here... Oh, I need to cross the storm drain. Okay, well, conveniently, I have a sort of an off-roady type vehicle. So that's kind of working. I think I might be a bit further away from the junction than I, than, from the checkpoint than I thought I was. Because this isn't quite the terrain I was expecting to be crossing at this point. But, um, never mind. Is there a way through? As long as there's a way through here, I don't mind too much. That's 
quite a lot of acceleration backwards. That's interesting. That's worth remembering if I use whatever use one of these again. Is there a way through over here? I, I've done that thing where I end up in a sort of a ridiculous area and then spend ages trying to faffing around here, trying to get through and trying to get out, and it just takes forever and I get more and more frustrated. It's going to be one of those, isn't it? I think I've ended up in here before. I've dropped in by trying to jump off the highway and then I've gone, how the hell are you supposed to get out of here for about half an hour before I've managed to work out or before I've finally climbed over a wall or something. So, right. This is kind of ridiculous because I'm back on the road again, which is not what I was trying to do. Oh, Mike's timed out. So that's uh, not a good sign. Oh, and I'm sort of rolled. No, that's all right. I'm back up again. I'm okay. So there's that over there. Now, what if I just carry on around here and just ignore the fact that this is not remotely my plan? So I was planning to try and get to this sort of on the ground, on, on the lower level. Um, yeah, on the lower level, because that would have made escaping really easy, because I'd have been completely hidden from them. But instead, I seem to be going around this way instead. Uh, never mind, that's all I can say. <coughs> So that's probably one of the easiest checkpoints in the game to take. So it's quite nice that that was the first one. Um, let's now stop here. I want to change cars, but I'm also aware there's probably going to be a lot of hunters around here because I've just taken a checkpoint. It's sort of the end, so that means they're probably in this sort of, oh, all the way up to the hills. Right, okay, I want a fast car for this because it's a long way. Let's just block the road here. That's something this car is very good at, just completely blocking the road. And now I'm going to grab that fuselade back here, because that's a fast Fuck, car. That's scary. So using this, I can get up to the other end of the city very, very quickly. Which means, firstly, I don't get bored. Secondly, you don't get bored. Um, thirdly, it's going to throw the hunters off a bit. And hopefully they're going to then be scrambling a bit to try and get there. Now, last time... No, the, a, a previous time I did this... One of the times when I did this successfully, um, I took this checkpoint by um, going a bit higher up and then sort of falling down a hill towards it. And that worked pretty well, actually. It was, it was um, um, I hurt myself a bit falling down the hill, but never mind. <laughs> Apart from that, it went really well. I'm sort of, so I think taking it off road as a pedestrian is the way to go. However, I'm kind of loath to try and do it from above again because I suspect they're going. They might be going to expect that. I don't know if they've seen the video of me doing it yet. Um, I think they have, so they might remember that. So, given that, a better plan might be to try and climb up from underneath, from the south side. Actually, what I'm going to do now that I'm all most of the way up here, and I've put the proverbial cat among the pigeons, giving them a bit of a scare because they think I'm going to get up there too too quickly and take and maybe take the checkpoint while they're still sitting on their thumbs. I'll get a little bit closer. I'll pull over in a driveway or somewhere off-road, park and have a quick look at the, um, at the map and try and get some ideas. Um... Along here, turn right up here. Yeah, I've turned right up here. There it is, big suspicious glow in the sky. I can't, I'm not allowed to drive straight up to it because I've used a sports car to get here, so that wouldn't be fair. Will, will those gates open for me? No. Alright, let's get out here. Uh, let's. Try and remember what the keys are. Can you jump that wall? Come on, jump the wall. Jump the wall. Jump the wall. Okay, I can't jump that wall. It's too big a wall. What about the gates? Can I get over the gates? Oh, push the gates open. Okay, that's nice and easy. Okay, I'm probably fairly safe in there. Even though I've abandoned my car outside, I'm, I reckon I'm probably safe. Where's the checkpoint? Up, way up that hill. Okay, let's head towards it. Ooh, down into this garden. Maybe I could use the lawnmower as a weapon. <laughs> I'm fairly sure that's been done in a zombie film or two. This is going to be tricky. So, 
Oh, there's that. That sounds like the hunters getting up here and ready to. Um... How did I lose a third of my health from falling in there? That's ridiculous. Right, let's see. I'm getting quite close. It's up this way. Okay, there's a road not too far away, which I don't want to get out on. Oh, don't fall off there again. I'm kind of at the mercy of what GTA considers to be climbable, unfortunately. There goes Tristan. If I climb up here, I can go into this bush. Yes, yeah, so I just head up behind this wall. That's quite good. Now I'm ooh, potentially visible from here, so I don't like that. Let's get a bit more over this way. Oh, that's not two walls. I thought that was two walls and I was going to be able to climb it. Oh, it is two walls. Come on, climb up the first one. Alright, don't then. We'll try and skim along the edge of here then and circumnavigate this, this walled garden thing. So now I can come up here. Oh god, I'm really exposed here though. Um, what is it to take a checkpoint on foot? I think it's E. I mean, I'm totally in the checkpoint here, so let's just do that. Then back in my bush. Boom! <laughs> I feel slightly mean taking checkpoints like this sometimes. Because it does make it really hard for them to spot me. Oh! Mike is suspicious of this bush. <laughs> Smart. I mean, definite points for um, ingenuity on that one. And there's another one coming running up there. Up there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's nick Mike's car, because that's going to be funny. Or should I nick Tristan? No, let's, let's nick Mike's. It's a bit easier to drive. Although it is a bit beaten up, but it'll it'll do for getting me away from here anyway. And I think I I feel like I have to do a, a drive by through through the Chinese monument checkpoint in this car just because I've stolen a hunter's car again. But I should or maybe I should have taken the Windsor. Oh well, never mind. This will do for driving down there. I have noticed I've started playing. Less, less subtly. Is it less subtly? I'm not sure. Because it used to be that I would drive almost obeying the traffic laws all the way, most of the time. Whereas now I do try to sneak through the checkpoints, but I feel like my style of play has changed quite a lot. I, I'm a bit less. I'm a lot less careful. I tend to go a bit more. Um, I drive a lot faster around the city, and maybe that's because they now know a lot more about where I am they can see roughly where I am in the city so therefore I don't like to um... oh there's a checkpoint let's just leave Mike's car here in the middle of the road and see if anyone blames him for it because <laughs> um, I'm going to say Mike has a, a reputation is possibly the wrong word but uh, there have been times when it's felt like there's been abandoned mic vehicles around every corner. Put it that way. Um, so, we'll just see if anyone comments on that. There's somebody behind me. Oh, it was Mike. <laughs> In another mic car. Maybe I should have just kept his. It would have been funny. What have we got here? We've got fuselades, various fuselades. And then we've got this one. The um, This is another habanero, isn't it? Yeah. There's habaneros absolutely everywhere today. It's just the city seems to be full of them. Every car I drive, every car I pick up seems to be a blimmin' habanero. I mean, they're... I guess they're okay, but I just feel like... A, it's a different car's car alarm going off when I stole this one. <laughs> That's a bit, a bit weird. Um, yeah, there's a lot of these habaneros around. And they're not... They're not great. They're not awful. I think they're almost, they've almost replaced the Radius in my um, estimation. They're a similar sort of car. They're also in the SUV class. They're similarly, they're a bit, they've got a reasonable amount of oomph. There's another one of those, um, whatever it was, XLs they were called. A Yukon perhaps? Or maybe that's the real car they're based on. I'm not sure. Um, 
yeah, so they're a bit like the Radius. They're not particularly amazingly quick. They're not amazingly handly. They're not. They're just not amazingly at anything. They're just sort of fairly generic middle of the road cars. But they're reasonably tough because they're SUVs, so they seem to have a bit of a chance at. Um... <laughs> oh, even San Andre in uh, Los Santos, even the even the ambulances are psychotic. Can we go? Maybe we can. Is that Buck behind me? That's definitely um, Mark there. Is he going to get out of the way? So I can go and take the blooming checkpoint? Because I'm too far away at the moment. He won't let me take it. <laughs> there we go. How good am I doing at uh, playing dead? Oops. Not very. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, forwards, 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 forwards. The other forwards. Yes, this forwards. This is the right. This is the correct forwards. Ooh, what happened there? Um, I'm not sure, but it's. Ooh. Get out of the. I mean, this. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many purple cars around. Oh. I don't know what. Actually, I don't know why there's so many purple cars around. But there is there is shooting going on. There is shooting occurring. I think I've probably started to chase now. Yes, there's a, um, a peaked car behind me. Ooh. Oh, that's a... yeah. Okay. The problem with all these SUV type derived cars is they're really really unstable. You get a bit of a two wheel moment, and we're always terrified you're just going to fall over. Um. I miss I miss sports cars. <laughs> They're so much better for this sort of running away shenanigans. Oh dear. This is about the fourth time today that I've hooned down this highway trying to get away from this bunch of lunatics. Um... Oh. That kind of worked. Kind of. I mean, partial credit for just trashing all their vehicles a little bit, I guess. Up here, up here, up here. Right, now we're going to rely on the psychology where everybody always wants to go over a jump as fast as they possibly can. Like that. <laughs> because if they all go over the jump at high speed... Oh dear, there's one of them left. <laughs> if they all go over the jump at high speed, and I don't, then I drop down in a completely different place to the rest of them. Then... Oh, there's Mike. Okay, so that's two of them are still on my... Well, Mike is sort of behind me. Mark is... This is going to get confusing, having a Mike and a Mark. Um, uh, turn, turn. Kind of turn. Uh, yeah, I'll do, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they they were both heading in the wrong direction, so they've got to turn round before they can... Attack. That was more solid than I was expecting. Um, they've got to turn round before they can start to chase me, so I've got a chance to kind of get away a bit. Oh, I'm really close to the next checkpoint. Oh, no! I was about to change cars, but no, suddenly there's a Tristan. Oh, that was good luck on his part or bad luck on mine. I'm not sure which. But either way, it's not what I need. Ooh, he's dropped back a bit. Excellent. Maybe I can pull off another right turn. And another. Oh, not there. All right, let's go higher. I don't know why, but it seems like a good idea. Oh, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Sometimes the lag causes interesting effects when you ram cars when Mike's around. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, I need to not be I need to not be going in a straight line. Um, it's like the rabbit in the headlights thing. You you just you know there's someone behind you. Oh, two wheels. You know there's someone behind you trying to do you do you a mischief. So you just put your foot down and try and just go, 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 go. Right, I'm going to try something slightly sneaky with the... I'm going to try it. Ooh, what happened there? My car's on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a mess. Hey, 
Tristan and I are there at the moment. I just sort of scoping the area up. Oh, and Mark. Uh, that was an interesting turn. I don't have any reason to be suspicious, I just... That's kind of suspicious. He wouldn't be that aggressive, like, probably. Hey, yeah. Um, what police has so been doing? Well, he's describing where... Mike's describing where we are, so... Heading west. Going round arena anti-clockwise? Oh, hang on. Where's my clock? Uh... Up, then left. Uh, that is plausible. Yes, yes, at speed. Ah. He's, he's just booked it. Yeah, we've been chasing him. Oh, fantastic. Where are you? He's in a red forester. Heading through uh, east through ghetto, uh, passing the Mega Mall now, on the tram lines. Next to the tram lines. Towards rail across again. Yep. I'm at Mega Mall. Crossing rails across. Crash. Sorry. Ah, left a muscle car the way. <laughs> oh god. And a gang attack. How considerate. Uh, Robots? Uh, so I'm not sure. I lost oh, I see. Do you see him? I've I lost don't. him. Natural spawn winter. Yeah. Ah. Would he have picked that up just cause? Only if he saw it. That's. Is that one? Yeah. Watch, watch out for um, trying to take checkpoint on foot. That's yeah. That's a good point. He wouldn't take it from the same place again. Probably not. He I have him. Uh, it's um, on foot. Where? Uh, on the road uh, south of checkpoint. Uh, white shirt, white t-shirt, uh, pullover. So a white shirt, black trousers. So basically on this house here. Uh, yeah, there. Where you went in. Somewhere there. Ah! Guys, got new guns. If anyone sees me, I'm the FIB guy. Ah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So it was a woman, uh, white shirt. That's a good point. I. Completely forgot about that bit. <coughs> There's someone suspicious running straight for me. I am very suspicious it is known. I mean, if I thought about it, you were in a default skin. Yeah. I think well, he's just taken Mike's car. Excellent. That's highly identifiable. It is. I've just taken uh, Tristan's and is going after him. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, I can't drive your car, Tristan. Yeah, that's why I said good luck. <laughs> Where's he going? Um, uh, I lost him already. <laughs> Eyes on. He's passing towards um, shopping mall right now, heading south. He's just turned right towards five ways. Passing through nice five ways. Up. Thank 
you up. Turning left, heading south. Temporary boss at this time. South for five ways though. And no eyes. Probable turn onto the highway. Yeah, no eyes. Probably coming in from direction of Red Car Park, heading due west. Probably not guaranteed. So I'm going to start scouting all the cars along here. This one right here, this silver car right here. No. Uh, nope. Nope, okay. Taking up. Uh, maybe this one. one there. Check it. Potentially yep. the one behind me as well. That red one there is looking super sus. Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The red one is him, it's him, it's him. Red car, red car. Hopefully you're down one tire. Oh, I'm getting shot at by NPCs. I'm sad to say I don't think it's down a tire. Uh, ten times. Okay uh, can one of you give us comments? Uh, we're just that way it went. Uh, now we're going into the highway on the grass, uh, heading east along the highway. Correct side of the. Uh, wrong, wrong side, side of the road, road now. Still heading down highway. Okay. Coming up to Arcadius. Ah, uh, tried to break the move of me. Is he still going? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, still heading down wrong side of the highway. Uh, he's coming off. He's 180 and coming off the off-ramp there. Tristan. <laughs> I'm trying not to... <laughs> Oh, he's going for the jump, probably. He is, and he's taking the jump. He's... He d he's back on the highway. Okay. I've now joined the highway, heading west. Heading east. Heading east? Yeah, he's past yeah. Arcadius. Switch to correct side, and I think yeah. he's driving off. Yep. He's... Yep, taking the exit. On your right. Sorry. Yeah, turn right. Or straight right there, yeah. or not. Oh, right here. Oh, yes, I see him. Turning right uh, on the corner of Square of Squares. I think he hit something. Yes. Just going under higher lower now. Uh, turn left there. And turning east back towards Square of Squares. And south. And then right again, so we're heading west, and then right again immediately past Simeon's, heading north. And going up onto higher. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha, me lad. Oh, sorry, got you as well. <laughs> Heading north on there. Thank you. As All a right. genuine Give thank you. Give me a boot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helpful. Hello, helpful. I'm Mike. Please, can you tell me which way he's gone? Uh, stopped at the construction <laughs> north side of the construction site. Uh, got him, got him, got him. Shopping centre. Uh, heading west towards shopping centre. What?
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> His car blew up. <laughs> that was impressive. Oh, cars on fire. Oh. <laughs>